Hey y'all. Hey man, this is uh, one more little effectiveness test for these uh, booms that they're going to be laying out along the beach here and along Shell Island to like stop uh, the oil from coming ashore and, and protect our, our sacred <laughs> spaces around here. Yeah, right. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, what I'm about to do is just cruise by the jet ski uh, or by the boom. Um, you know, just barely over idle speed, just to create a little tiny wake. And I remember, keep it in mind, I'm on a nine-foot jet ski, you know. We have uh, huge fishing vessels that travel these waters all day long that create much bigger wakes than me. Uh, and then not to mention wind and current also does a, a, a lot, uh, creates a lot higher waves than, than what I'm about to demonstrate here. But this will just give you an idea of when these things are actually deployed, how little water it, or little wave it takes for the oil and water to splash right over them and right on onto our beaches. So, uh, pretty disgusting to, <laughs> when you see this, but all right, let's check it out. And uh, first off, we'll give you a, a look at my speed here. So I'm doing a uh, five knot, yeah, six knots maybe. And now look at the way, watch it go right. from five knots on a jet ski. You can imagine what like a 10 knot wind or you know three foot surf will do to these things. It's ridiculous that they even waste their time and effort to put this out. It's obvious it's just all for the media and for the TV cameras to make it look like they're doing something when they're actually not. All right, I'm out.